Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jack Cullen greeting you from Seattle, and we'd like to say hello to Judy Garland, who is now sticking her tongue out at me. Oh, don't you say that. Now we'll start all over. <laughs> and we did start all over again, too. <laughs> well, hi, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking from Seattle with a bit of laryngitis myself, I'd like to greet a fellow member of the clan who also has laryngitis, but she's promised she's going to have it clear up when she hits Vancouver. It's Judy Garland. Hi. Hi. How are you? It's nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. And I understand that you're going to be playing Vancouver tomorrow night. That's right. Would you like to give a big plug for the show? Tell us who you're bringing with you and all about it. Well, we're bringing our whole show. You know, we've got uh, the high lows, a very wonderful quartet. Uh, uh, I think they're just about the top singing group in the country now, top record sales, I know. And Frank Fontaine, who's uh, such a funny man. And then the uh, delightful Weir Brothers, uh, the zany Weir Brothers. I remember the movies. Do you ever see them in pictures? No, I don't. I, I don't remember. They, I know I've talked to them, and they, they, they loathed the movies they were in. They said they were just, you know, they didn't use them properly. I mean, I think it would be wonderful for everyone to, to see them in person, although they've been on television a lot, I know. How do you feel about the movies you've been in? Huh? In Academy Award? Uh, well, let's see. No, I, actually, I think I liked uh, Star is Born the best. You really did? Uh, worked like... Hell <laughs> All right, we'll let it that. And we'd also like to ask you, uh, you started in pictures in 1935, I believe, with Deanna Durbin. That's the story? I think it was 1935, mm -hmm. with Deanna Durbin, that's right. Would you object right now if we played a very old soundtrack sequence in our program? No, what is it? What's it Remember a picture called Big Skin Parade? Oh, yes. You're about to hear Johnny Downs, <laughs> Betty Grable, and a very little Judy Garland sing a tune called It's Love I'm After. Oh, for heavens, I'd like to hear it myself. All right, coming up right now. Judy, around about 1938, we're going to almost trace your career here, but I'm not going to keep you too long. About 1938, I believe you appeared in, was it the big broadcast in 1930 or Broadway Melody? No, it, it, was, it wasn't the big, it was Broadway Melody, yes. MGM had that series? Yeah. And what was your big song in that picture? Uh, the, the, uh, uh, the Gable song, You Made Me Love You, to, you know, singing to Clark Gable's picture. How did that come about? A special lyric. Well, actually, it was written for uh, Clark Gable's birthday. It was just a personal thing, and Roger Edens wrote it for me to sing at Clark Gable's birthday party. And then the uh, <laughs> some some of the executives at the studio heard her, heard me sing it, and they put it in the picture, and it's, uh, that's the way it happened. I think around by the time you became affiliated with the Decca Recording Company, with I believe your first record was Stomping at the Savoy. Judy, in the picture... Okay, Judy, in the picture, The Wizard of Oz, is there any particular scene in the picture? We have the actual soundtrack here, not records, the actual soundtrack. Is there any scene that you'd like to play for the folks? Any scene? Any scene, any sequence uh, from the film. Oh, golly. Uh, well, I, you know, that was, that was about 180 years ago. Now, Daylight saving time, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know the one thing that I, I loved, uh, uh, the one scene, it, it was a song that Bert Lahr sang, uh, uh, oh. Uh, King of the Forest. The forest. Yes, yeah. I don't uh, know whether that would be good to play over the radio or not. Oh, it's perfectly clean. I'd love to. I can't think of any other any other scenes. The, the last scene in the picture was rather right nice. Or, and over the rainbow was in that. Judy, uh, you also appeared in some of the Andy Hardy series, as I remember. Pictures like Andy Hardy uh, married a debutante, was that? Uh, yeah, yeah, almost Andy Hardy. Uh, what was it? Andy Hardy meets a, meets a debutante? And you played the part of Betsy in one of that brat from New York. That's right. You have a wonderful memory, my goodness. Well, we bugged up on this one before we came down. Let's mm -hmm. play a song, just a small soundtrack scene from that picture. Uh, and here we have Judy Garland with, I believe, is it Faye Bainter, is that her name? Who played the part of Andy Hardy's mother? Uh, no, it's not Faye Bainter. Uh, what? Oh, my golly, I can't remember to save myself. Sarah. It was Sarah. Was Sarah, Sarah. Not Sarah Bernhardt, but that's Bernard. for sure. Uh, I can't remember. It might have been Faye Bainter. I don't mean to be disrespectful to her, uh, but I just can't remember the uh, the lady who played Well, you remember the voice. And here well, let's see. There was, uh, uh, I did four of the Hardy pictures with him. Did for Andy Hardy mm -hmm. and then we did Babes on Broadway and Babes in Arms and mm -hmm. wonderful tunes like How About You and, yes, uh, and uh, uh, I'm Nobody's Baby. Yes, and uh, Strike Up the Band and Girl Crazy and uh, let's see. I think that was our. I think that was uh, our last one together was Girl Crazy, wasn't it? I think so. You made some wonderful pictures in the forties. I know. Uh, we'll skip through the 40s because I know you're anxious to get up to the hotel and get a good night's sleep. Of the 40s, which was your favorite picture? The okay. Pirate or For Me and My Gal or any of those? I, I liked For Me and My Gal. I liked that. That's all right. <laughs> We're all buggy this time in the morning, believe me. <laughs> Two black Irishmen. Yeah.